Hi, this is Malcolm Groves. This is part four of a series of videos that I'm doing on the Version Insight technologies inside Red Studio XE. While I've got this Delphi Spring project open, uh, I'll use it to show you another feature of Version Insight, uh, and that's our support for annotations. Um, this feature is also sometimes called Blame. Um, I think in, sub, in the subversion world it's more frequently called Blame, but basically it lets you look at a particular line of a file and find out who most recently changed that uh, and some details about the changes they made. So for example, um, I've got this spring.paz file open. Um, if I come across, or well, in fact you can do this on any of these views, but if I come across to the contents tab, um, click on a particular revision of the um, uh, of the file and then um, uh, come up to the menu bar at the top, the toolbar at the top and you'll notice there's a little um, uh, the third icon over uh, is one called annotate and basically what when I click on this it's going to go uh, and for each line in the um, in the file it's going to go off to the subversion server and pull down the details of the most recent revision where that line was changed. So all of these numbers that it's now added down here are the revision numbers um, of the last time that that was changed. So you can see there's a few here. If we scroll down and find something that maybe is a bit um, a little bit interesting. Okay, let's have a look at some of these. Um, let's say we want to understand who changed these comments. So if we hover over it, um, you can see that uh, you can see the author um, of, of the changes, when they did the changes, and also a bit of a comment. So we can see updated some documentation. You can see, basically this is the revision comment. So not only may it give you some context for who made this change and why, um, it also importantly gives you the details of what revision it was part of. So at this stage, for example, if we know that they changed this line as part of revision 241 and that was related to adding logging support, um, what we could do is come over to our um, project file, down to the subversion repository, come to the log, um, wait while it goes off and pulls down all of the repository, uh, the revision information and here's that uh, revision 241 so we could come over here and see all the other files that were part of that revision, maybe the other changes and start exploring some of the other changes that were part of that same revision that may give us enough information to understand why these changes were made. Worst case, we know who changed them so we can always ring them uh, or email them or whatever, hence the subversion name for this being blame. 